Good morning from Hanoi in Vietnam. We've just had breakfast at our hostel and it turns out it's pretty much made to order on hot food. So Rachel started off with what was it? No, I had a scrambled egg and bacon. And I had my first pho experience. So that was lovely. But they also have eggs a variety of different ways, sausages, pancakes. It's quite a selection for breakfast in addition to the buffet they have. Yep, and I don't know exactly what they put in the coffee, but it's absolutely amazing. So that is gonna give us some really good fuel to start off with our day. And today, as we usually do when we're in a new city, we are going on a walking tour. Let's go. Prior to coming to Vietnam, we had heard about two coffee specialities that they do here. So they do do a traditional Vietnamese coffee, which we will try a different time. But the other two that we've heard about are egg coffee and coconut coffee. So we've ordered one of those each to give it a try. The egg coffee comes both hot and cold, and we asked which was best, and she advised us to have it hot. So here goes the egg coffee. You would never know there's egg in this. It just tastes like really good coffee mixed with like a sweet milk, so like condensed or evaporated milk. It's Great. So this is the coconut coffee. It only comes in ice form at this particular shop, but we have seen it hot in other places. Let's give this a try. Mm. Really nice. So imagine basically putting an espresso in with like the coconut ice cream. And that richness all just really blends together into something amazing. Good choices. We've just finished our walking tour with Tony and he was absolutely incredible. He had so much political, historical, cultural, religious knowledge. 
he was a fountain of information. And as Nick pointed out, he was just so passionate in sharing it all. Yeah, I think basically any tour should have somebody who, one, has that level of knowledge, but also is just that passionate about sharing it with you. Because then that kind of enthusiasm really rubs off on you as you then go through all of the sites that you're going to get to see. So, yeah, it's one thing to kind of explore and see everything at your own pace, which has been really good, but having somebody who loves the place this much taking you through it just really adds to it. And it really helps when you have context because then I think that you appreciate it more. And I think this tour in particular took us to a lot of markets. I think my favorite was Dongchuan Central Market. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's basically a wholesale and retail market and you can get anything and everything there. But the great thing is that we walked on the streets a lot and there's a ton of different street vendors. And I really felt that by spending so much time on the street, we were able to get a real feel for the vibe of this city, which I found to be very cozy and charming. Mind you, we were mostly in the old quarter, but it's funny in that it feels kind of small although it's actually huge. I think there's 9 million people here. Yet, despite it feeling small and cozy and charming, it's so busy. Even during the day, there's just such a lot of energy here. But uh, I think the thing with this though, in comparison to other cities which do have like big energy, other cities feel very chaotic, whereas this seems to have like just an order to it all, which is actually very, comforting and refreshing and so even when you're going through the narrow streets and you're getting beat at by motorbikes and all of that kind of stuff you just don't really feel as stressed out by it or as anxious about it as you would in other places it's just yeah Hanoi is just built different it's pretty interesting and the old quarter is just so beautiful the architecture is very french which makes sense because they were colonized by the French for a while. I just love how there's colorful buildings that have beautiful balconies on the front of them. I think it's gorgeous. Yeah, I think we're going to like this place. But I think what I'm going to like more is the prospect of getting some more Vietnamese food because I don't know about you, but I'm starting to get a bit hungry. Definitely. Let's crack on with lunch. comes to just under four dollars for the two of us and that seems to be the theme of it you can get amazingly cheap food in this city and hopefully in the rest of the country and so because of that we are treating ourselves to an additional egg coffee each and those cost just under two dollars as well we're now going to take them to go to head back to the hostel and do some work Six hours of work, yep, I said work, later. Feeling pretty hungry, so we are gonna head back to Beer Street to see what the fuss is all about. I feel like after all the work that Nick did editing the videos this afternoon, and not to shoot my own horn, but I did a 
lot of research and planning as well as some social media work. Nick, especially because you love beer, deserves a beer on Beer Street. Much appreciated. Let's go get that drink, shall we? delicious and a great introduction to buy me for both of us all for just under four dollars but that's pretty much all that we are going to be doing for the evening so with that until next time take care and keep smiling